Supreme Master Ching Ai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Сегодняшний выпуск будет представлен по-английски, по-китайски, субтитрами на следующих языках. Арабский, аулакский, также известный как вьетнамский, болгарский, китайский, хорватский, чешский, английский, французский, немецкий, хинди, венгерский, индонезийский, итальянский, японский, корейский, малайский, монгольский, персидский, польский, португальский, пенджабский, румынский, русский, испанский и тайский. Привет вам, уважаемые зрители! Меня зовут Игорь. Я из Москвы, из мезорульбивой России. Со своими императорами, царями и продолжительной историей императорская Россия приковывала к себе внимание мира. Собор Василия Блаженного, Красная площадь и Кремль. Лишь немногие из архитектурных чудес России. Москва – политический центр России, но также и важный культурный, научный, образовательный центр страны. Россия – родина многих всемирно известных литературных и музыкальных гениев, среди которых писатель, вегетарианец и аристократ Лев Толстой, писатель Федор Достоевский, поэт и прозаик Александр Пушкин, драматург Антон Чехов и любимые композиторы – такие как Петр Чайковский, Михаил Глинко и Игорь Стравинский. Я рад вместе с вами взглянуть на красоту и культуру России. Желаем вам наслаждаться сегодня и каждодневно гармонией и радостью. А теперь посмотрим первую часть передачи под названием «Молитва за всех будущих пророков». Больше языков доступны онлайн. Ваш язык вы можете найти на www.suprememastertv.com Наклонная черта Subtitles Уже более трех десятилетий шатчайший мастер Чинхай освещает наш мир своими божественными учениями. Полностью просветленный мастер, она передает метод медитации Гуань Ин, желающим немедленно открыть природу Бога внутри себя и за одно время жизни достичь вечного освобождения из цикла перерождений. Метод Гуань Ин практиковали просветленные мастера такие как Будда, Иисус Христос, Пророк Мухаммад, мир да пребудет с ним, и Гуру Нанак. Мастер Чинхай подчеркивает, что если мы будем всегда помнить о Боге, бескорыстно служить другим и следовать законам Вселенной, мы достигнем своего высочайшего потенциала в качестве людей и по-настоящему поймем свое назначение на Земле. Высочайший мастер Чин Хай является замечательным живым примером сострадания, регулярно оказывая материальную и финансовую поддержку, а также посылая свою любовь беженцам, бездомным, жертвам природных катастроф и другим нуждающимся в помощи. В 2006 году она получила премию ГУЗИ считающаяся Нобелевской премией мира Востока и на протяжении многих лет 
была отмечена многими другими премиями и почетными грамотами за свои выдающиеся благотворительные и гуманитарные деяния. Будучи настоящим красивым голосом наших красивых друзей-животных, она пропагандирует мирную и любящую растительную диету. И по мере осознания человечеством святости любой жизни предвидит безмятежный и блистательный севиганский мир, где животные и люди живут в блаженной гармонии. Ее инициативы по продвижению веганского тренда многообразны и включают в себя распространение флаера, альтернативный образ жизни, международную сеть веганских ресторанов Loving Heart, Supreme Master Television, а также регулярные обращения к влиятельным лидерам в области политики и медиа и участия в транслируемых по телевидению конференциях об изменении климата. Признаем ли мы этот факт или нет? Ее усилия оказали огромное влияние на глобальную осведомленность о дружественном по отношению к животным образе жизни и о том, как этот великодушный способ существования может принести долговременный мир среди наций и спасти нашу планету от изменения климата. На протяжении многих лет высочайший мастер Чинхай путешествует по всему миру, от обеих Америк до Африки, от Европы до Океании, и произнесла сотни лекций для общей публики и своих учеников на разнообразные духовные темы. Сегодня нам выпало благословение представить вам одну из этих глубоких лекций под названием «Молитва за всех будущих пророков». Часть первая из трех на «Между мастером и учениками» по-английски, по-китайски. Лекция данная 17 и 18 августа 2013 года во Франции. Stay home and earn money. You just come and come and come. Huh? You miss me. You just been here a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> The first one. Yeah. Because you have no boyfriend now. That's why, right? Yeah. <laughs> no new victim, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. Next time it's like this. We open this door, okay? And we open all the window, okay? Okay, okay. That's it, that's that, that's it, that's it. Oh, not too big. That's it, no! Oh, always overdo things. Yeah, yeah. No. Just like when I, I say nobody cook for me and then ten of them cook all together. <laughs> Five soup. <laughs> you know, six salads. <laughs> ten different, ten different courses. Oh, man. Huh? Yeah. It's like that. And when, when, when nobody cook, then none, no? It's funny, yeah. So, who are the new one? Raise hands. Uh-huh. Also some upstairs, right? Chinese upstairs? New Chinese upstairs as well? Okay. Cool. Ah, nobody asked any question today? <laughs> no? Then what shall I do? <laughs> I don't have job today, huh? Mm. <sighs> yes, actually, today I've been very sad. Yeah. I'm just thinking of all the poor prophets and masters. Yeah. When they were alive, they were attacked, persecuted, or, you know, blackened names, and, or killed, or in different brutal ways. And after they die, some build very big churches and big temples and mosques, whatever. And then they still kill. 
kill his name or her names, saying that Jesus, uh, I would say, eat fish and Buddha eat pig's legs and Prophet Muhammad tell them to kill, all kind of things. So sad, so sad. All in the name of the great masters who are so compassionate and so benevolent and so forgiving, so loving to all creatures, even little birds and little ram, little lamb, they are loving them. How can they tell anybody to go out and kill anybody else? And now they even kill each other in the name of the prophets or the masters as well, you know? I mean, less now, but before even Protestant kill Christian or whatever, and now Muslim, Shia kill Sunni, Sunni kill Shia, whatever. Oh, it's so scary. After I die, please don't make any religion out of my teaching, okay? We have enough religion and fanatic religious killing in this world already. Oh, so terrible. All the masters suffer so much for all beings when they were alive and after they die, they still be smeared, their names are besmeared and, and massacred in their names. Aren't we terrible? Huh? Humans are terrible. Animals, they don't even do that. They only kill for some, you know, maybe personal reason to eat or maybe rivals. But they don't kill en masse and not in the name of their leaders, whatever. I've been so sad today. Maybe today we just have a good prayers for all the prophets in the future. Eh? All the good master, the real master in this life and next lives. So all their teachings will be really, really understood and carried out so that they don't be killed, either physically, mentally, psychologically, or emotionally, or whatever. This is really terrible. I mean, all the not real masters, they enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> they enjoy so much that only the real masters suffer. Yeah? They're not real masters, they're famous, and they have all kinds of things. Yeah? Not, not like the real master would want it anything. At least have peace, but don't, don't have peace. And even nowadays, if I hear a loud helicopter passing by, I, my heart pump already. Mm-hmm. Or any noise outside, I was thinking, oh, somebody bad's coming. And sometimes I smell some smoke, I thought, oh, somebody's coming to burn my garden or my house again. I saw all kind of pressure, you know psychologically. <sighs> Can you imagine nowadays we have so much freedom and it's still like that? Hmm? And have good communication, nah? I mean, internet connection, everything, is still like that. Imagine at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, oh, peace be upon him, <laughs> you know, and Master Jesus and Buddhas and Mahavira, Krishna, whomever, you know, Guru Nanak, in the former life, yeah, would have been much more difficult. I was very sad today, very sad. I meditate a lot, but I'm, and then I remember all this, and it was very sad. Yeah. Anyway, we have maybe one minute's prayers, yeah, mm-hmm. quietly for all the prophets, for the future, that humankind will not persecute them and just listen to their teaching, at least leave them in peace, hmm? if don't listen. Yeah, okay, we meditate, okay, guys? Oh, it was good just to meditate all the time, huh? <laughs> you feel good to meditate a long, long time here? Really? Yes. Yeah. And eating less, yeah? I mean, <laughs> eat soup, right? You eat less or just uh, just a few bowls more? 
Just in case the soup digests quick, you have to do it extra, na? Oh, really? Sometimes you, you eat less, feel so good, eh? No? Yes or no? Yes. Mm, no, you lie. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. For me, yeah, so I'm not sure. For you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Never mind. You eat as much as you need. <laughs> Just meditate more, okay? I myself have to meditate at least, at least 10 hours a day. So I wonder why the, uh, the, the day has only 24 hours. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes uh, you meditate a lot, you don't feel like eating, but for some reason you have to. Uh, just grab something. <laughs> meditate quick, something easy to digest. Nah? Mm, not too much oily stuff. Yeah, okay. Or some raw food, yeah. Boy food, mm -hmm. easy. Huh? Just eat some boy stuff and warm up some ready-made ham or whatever, you know, veggie ham, sorry. <laughs> yeah, if they write it down in the future, they say, Master Ching, I eat ham. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do that. <laughs> yeah, and if I say milk because I forget to say soya, <laughs> she drinks milk. Yeah, and uh, like uh, whatever, you know, cheese, we always taste cheese. When I invite you to my kitchen and say, here, have some more cheese, remember? Because between us, we know it's just veggie cheese, vegan cheese. But if it's written down, printed into books, eh, recycling around until a thousand years later, then it becomes, I eat cheese. Uh, you know, even vegan cheese, I don't eat that much. Understand, yeah? Uh, but this is like that. So all the prophets has, have been misunderstood a lot. A lot and a lot and a lot, especially concerning food. Don't you think it's so funny? Jesus eat fish, and even break fish you give to people. How can you break the fish? <laughs> Mostly, if you break, would break bread, right? Oh, break some cakes or something. Break fish, give it to them. Oh my God, and five, give to five hundred people even. <laughs> ah, dear God. You know, the, the translation, they, sometimes they understood it. The word is written, you know, like something else, like grapes, for example. I don't know how, what they think, they put fish into it, because they cannot think that the master only uh, give grapes to disciples. It must be fish, because they love fish. So. See what I mean? And the Buddha eat the mushroom that is uh, grow under the ground, and, and the, the, the pig loves them. They, they use their feet or then their, their snouts to dig it, to eat. So they call it pig feet also in India. And then, then the Buddha eat the pig feet. Oh, terrible. And they believe it. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i faith regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters, and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves, which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby, Siti Garba Sutra. Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious, thus delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. 
Ksiti Garba Sutra. Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints. Christianity. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. If ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adi Lila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for our health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature. And then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did. And they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. Yeah, even now I'm, I'm still alive, you know, many things that, that's not understood. How would the prophet even resurrect just to correct some of the misunderstanding, huh? And even if he or she come back, would they even recognize him? I read somewhere um, Jesus' life, he even prophesied, you know, himself, let's say that he will come back as a woman and nobody will recognize him. For example, like that. So if Jesus was to come back as a woman and tell them, no, no, I didn't eat fish. No, not I, no, no. <laughs> you know, on high heel and, uh, <laughs> and chiffon and long hair and makeup. Would you think they believe her, him? Huh? Would you? Would they believe him? Of course not. They're still looking for Jesus. <laughs> They're still waiting for his second coming. <laughs> And I told you already many things before. It's very funny. I told you about the restaurant. Uh, they all you can eat, you know? Eat all you can, $5, remember? I was in America first time. I thought, wow, what a loving service. We go there and eat, so <laughs> make sure their business is going. I, I had a big group of people come in and we eat. We thought, eat all you can, you know? But we don't eat that much, of course. 
I just need some uh, extra paper bowl to share my food with the disciples around. And as soon as they see me taking some, they took all the bowls and the cups, take them all away, hiding somewhere. <laughs> we cannot find it anymore. <laughs> and we asked that they don't have. <laughs> we just saw a lot of them there and now don't have. Okay, of course you can't, you can't expect all you can for five dollars, you know, maybe that's all you can, you know, whatever you ate already, that's all you can. <laughs> I said, never mind, please give us some, we pay for it. But they already said don't have, so they couldn't say they have now, you know, so I said that. But on, on, on the altar, very high with a lot of flowers and fruits and some food, you know, for the Buddha, yeah. For the, the stone Buddha sitting there, I really envy him. <laughs> I say, wow, look at that, huh? It's not bad to be a stone Buddha, no? <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that stone Buddha doesn't eat anything. That's why they gave so much. Suppose that stone Buddha even eat like I do. I'm not sure if they even give any. You know, or so abundance like that, or so often, you know. Yeah, I'm telling you, yeah? Okay. So much for the prophet. Uh, now, I want to tell you something about um, the other day somebody asked me whether he said everything in this world, you know, supposed to be all illusion, yeah? I mean, zero, yeah? Dreamlike. So, suppose, supposed to be like that, then, then, then the, uh, the karma is also uh, zero, yeah? So, but, uh, so that means if you cut yourself, you don't get hurt, right? <laughs> huh? Does it feel hurt? Somebody pinch you even? Ah, oh, yeah. When you have accident or something like that, you're praying like, huh? <laughs> like heaven for Master, help. Yes, the thing is, the soul is attached to a body and a mind, yeah? So that soul is given a chance to do good in this world or to re-correct whatever he has done wrong. You know, that in that body has done wrong in the past. But sometimes the soul came back. The soul knows. The soul promised to do good, fine. But the body, the mind don't listen. The mind don't listen, doesn't listen, and do all kind of wrong things. Then in that case, the soul will be responsible. That's why we have to do good, so that the soul can be free. I mean, everybody, not the initiated, yeah? The initiated, already free at the time of initiation. The soul can come free, come go, whenever he wants. Uh, but with the attached string until you die, of course, and silver string. Now, even the initiate, if you do something wrong, the soul is still aware of it, and the karmic God is written it all down. Understand? Everything is illusion in this world, but the karmic God is not an illusion. <laughs> He write out everything you do, good or bad. Understand that? Mm -hmm. And then He make the soul responsible. That's the way it is. Just like you drive the car. Sometimes the car is good, the car is bad. If the car is bad, you have an accident. And even if it's a car's fault, you still need to pay for whatever you've done. Huh? your insurance. But your insurance is you who pay insurance also. You see what I mean? Yeah. Or it come, it, when it's come to life, then it's, sometimes you even have to go to prison. The car bad or the car good? Because you are responsible to make the car go in order. That's what they say. You see what I mean? You have to take care that your car is good. Why didn't you take care of the car before you go out, blah, blah, blah? And then now you kill somebody by accident. So a law is like that. So even if you are initiated already, I have told you, keep the five precepts, yes, and meditate, so that the mind can be more subdued, and the soul can easily direct the mind to tell the body what to do. That is a problem, because the soul tells the mind what to do, the mind tells the body differently. That is a problem. Hmm? Just like now, what? Yeah, I told you to open that, and then go open the whole thing, the curtain out. Ah, yeah, never mind. But that is a small thing, just for example. 
The soul is responsible when it's trapped in this body to do good, to direct the body what to do, the mind what to do. But the mind came in between all the time. Mm. And my assistant is the same. I told them what to do, they don't. Because they think differently. They think, oh, it cannot be like that. <laughs> so they do what they want. It's like that even. Okay, now, uh, you have any question? New people? Don't have? Just smiling? <laughs> Wonderful. That means you're enlightened, huh? That's good. Okay. I'm going to see the people upstairs and I come back, okay? And we have other program. <laughs> You hear them clapping? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, huh? They waited. Yeah, I thought we secretly thought them. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Love you, guys. Thank you. Taiwan. 看中国大陆了嘛现在看台湾<笑> 我也不是说分别心啦又看很几年了啊了解吗原谅我啊感谢有没有问题新的人来啊 楼下很小那些和尚走掉了哦上次有四个和尚回去了哈啊时间到了回去了很奇怪哈那些那个忙忙碌碌的那个工作人员急着要留下来和尚呢急着要回去大概他们看那个我们家太满了<笑><笑>
，在泰国的话，替我开车的。女孩子不开车，好好替一流的，嗯，而且也会当护法，嗯，她看你也没有装嘛，谁看她都怕了。哎、欸，多数的泰国人比较小嘛，有没有瘦瘦的？他怎么不不会？嗯，看人上也有福报的那些中国的那个传统的那个脸了、啊，懂吗？嗯，所以看着谁都怕他。那开车很好，哎、欸，而且很很了解师傅了，很很那个很开朗就对了呀、啊。我我做什么他都 OK 的，很了解，听懂吗？很开悟的人，嗯。呃，现在想念师傅，所以来能赖就赖了哦。他当空中小姐，本来本来不不能这样，不过他大概赚钱够了。现在想，他说他想想那个把工作丢了啊，他想不做工作了。呃、啊、，Is your father still happy with you, or he still want to pay to take you out? He's happy now. Ah, okay. You're welcome. 以前呢，他要赔他钱，为了闹着要他搬出去，就没工作嘛，一直喜欢留在家里打坐什么的。OK， 不过他很乖呀，很乖呀。每个人用不同的地方，懂吗？他是非常好。嗯。OK， 我现在如果没事情的话，啊，我就去看那个。我先看西方人 ，OK， 新的还有新的人来哈，然后等一下再看那个台湾人，通通的，新的旧的也要看，有没有人急的要马上走的或是什么？啊，几个小时要走什么？来得及吗？来得及吗？到明天才走哈 ，OK， 那我就看他们西方人，或是先看台湾人，再说一下，我再想一下，我先看台湾人哈。Очаровательные зрители, спасибо за то, что посмотрели молитву за всех будущих пророков. Часть первую из трех на между мастером и учениками. Пожалуйста, оставайтесь на Суприм Мастер Телевизион. Пусть радость и смех всегда присутствуют в вашей жизни. За дополнительной информацией обращайтесь на www.suprememastertv.com наклонная черта BMD.